We haven't had a lot to celebrate over the past year, but on April the 8th, we celebrated outstanding work by our team members at Buckner. During our annual Founders Day event, we paused to recognize extraordinary efforts during an extraordinary year. As part of our celebration, we watched a special video highlighting both the struggles of 2020 and the victories. For my April update, I wanted to share that very special video with you. I think you'll find it encouraging. COVID caught the world off guard. It moved so fast that everyone, governments, health organizations, individuals, had little time to react and prepare. 2020 and now 2021 have provided Buckner Retirement Services with a lot of challenges. When we began to understand how dangerous the pandemic was for senior adults, we immediately took the steps we needed to keep residents and members safe. We had the same issues in children and family services, but our work was confined to distanced communication with families who often need personal interaction for coaching, counseling, and help. We were really hit hard internationally. Many of the countries where we serve were just as unprepared as we were but had fewer resources. We immediately responded to the greatest need they had, humanitarian aid by the container load. Looking at the past year, I think of the word struggle. Some of us struggled with working from home, with navigating childcare and school for our children. Some of my coworkers struggled to go to work every day to serve seniors, developing creative solutions to work safely and to keep one another safe. We also struggle with our family members, with keeping our parents safe, with the desire to see our parents while also being concerned we might unknowingly infect them. Some of my teammates have struggled with COVID itself or with fearing a positive test and hoping for negative results. Some of us who have worked from home have struggled with isolation and an inability to socialize with friends. Many have struggled with a work-life balance. Others have had emotional struggles, relational struggles, and financial struggles. One of the things that amazed me was how quickly our Buckner team, the whole Buckner team, was able to adapt to this new threat to keep our clients and associates safe. From an operations standpoint, Buckner Communities implemented widespread measures designed to mitigate risks around virus transmission. These measures remain consistent with the evolving guidelines coming from the Centers for Disease Control and often exceeded state and local guidelines. Another huge challenge was how to respond to the tens of thousands of already fragile client families who began to experience fear and financial hardship from illness and the loss of jobs. Our humanitarian aid teams in Texas and internationally stepped up to provide almost 4 million pounds of aid to help these families. In both our domestic and international services too, we never cease providing any of our services. Think about it. We're experiencing a global crisis that is shutting down businesses, institutions, and governments, but through innovation, energy, technology, and determination, our Buckner teams continued to stay in touch with their families and provide services, just like we have for 142 years. Our team remained calm, then boldly stepped into the middle of the pandemic. They worked hard, they communicated often, and they did their job well. As I think back over this year, I believe we have responded in a way that honors Christ and our mission at Buckner. We have done our best to stay calm, we have not hesitated to step into harm's way to serve others. We have worked hard. We have offered hope to families who are struggling in life before COVID. And we have done our job well. We have stayed the course. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. I remember hearing those words from Charles Dickens when I was in school. It sounded confusing to me. 
How could times be both good and bad? Some are calling last year the worst year in human history, or at least one of the top five worst years. And yet, as Dickens said, it was also the best of times. We saw the very best of humanity shine forth in 2020. People of all walks of life responded to the issues of 2020 in ways we never thought were possible. Heroes emerged and reminded us that even during dark times, a light can still shine. That's what happened all across the ministries of Buckner International. We were not deterred from fulfilling our mission of serving the most vulnerable just when they needed us the most. Frontline heroes stepped up. We adapted and overcame, and because we did, 2020 will be remembered for many as the best year of their lives. I think in the end, throughout all of our challenges, and the effort of making the past year and a half not only survivable, but successful. Our Buckner story has been about hope. The kind of hope that doesn't just rely on internal expectations, but on divine inspiration. I saw it time and time again in our teams.